Becoming a power of attorney is a significant responsibility that requires careful consideration and planning. A power of attorney is a legal document that grants an individual the authority to make decisions on behalf of another person. This can include decisions related to finances, healthcare, and other important matters. In this article, we will explore the steps involved in becoming a power of attorney and provide tips for those considering taking on this role. Of a person signing legal documents with a notary stamp nearby. The first step in becoming a power of attorney is to understand the legal requirements in your jurisdiction. Each state or province has its own rules regarding powers of attorney. So it is important to do your research and ensure that you are following the correct procedures. This may involve filling out specific forms, obtaining signatures from witnesses or notaries, and submitting the document to the appropriate government agency. It is also important to understand the limitations and responsibilities of being a power of attorney, as well as the potential consequences of not fulfilling these duties. Once you have a solid understanding of the legal requirements and responsibilities of being a power of attorney, the next step is to identify a person who would benefit from having you in this role. This may be a family member, friend, or client who is unable to make important decisions on their own due to age, illness, or disability. It is important to have open and honest communication with the person you are considering as a power of attorney as well as any other family members or loved ones who may be affected by this decision. By taking these steps and carefully considering your options, you can become a trusted and effective power of attorney for those who need your support. In standing power of attorney, definition and types. A power of attorney is a legal document that gives a person the authority to act on behalf of another person. The person who grants the power of attorney is known as the principal while the person who receives the authority is known as the agent or attorney in fact. There are different types of power of attorney, each with its own specific purpose. The most common types include general power of attorney, gives the agent broad authority to act on behalf of the principal in all legal and financial matters. Limited power of attorney, limits the agent's authority to a specific task or transaction. Durable power of attorney, remains in effect even if the principal becomes incapacitated or unable to make decisions. Springing power of attorney becomes effective only when a specific event or condition occurs, such as the principal becoming incapacitated. Roles and responsibilities. The agent's role and responsibilities depend on the type of power of attorney granted by the principal. In general, the agent must act in the best interest of the principal and follow the instructions outlined in the document. Some common responsibilities of the agent include managing the principal's finances and assets, making healthcare decisions on behalf of the principal, signing legal documents and contracts, representing the principal in court. It is important for both the principal and agent to fully understand the terms of the power of attorney document before signing it. Seeking legal advice can help ensure that the document is properly drafted and that both parties understand their roles and responsibilities. Becoming a power of attorney, becoming a power of attorney a par, is a legal process that allows an individual to appoint another person to make decisions on their behalf. This can include decisions related to finances, healthcare and other important matters. Here are the eligibility requirements, legal procedures and documentation, as well as duties and limitations of a power of attorney. Eligibility requirements. To become a power of attorney, an individual must be of legal age and have the mental capacity to make decisions. They must also have a clear understanding of the responsibilities that come with being a power of attorney. Additionally, the individual must choose someone who is trustworthy and capable of making decisions in their best interest. Legal procedures and documentation. The process of becoming a power of attorney involves legal procedures and documentation. The individual who wants to create a power of attorney must complete a legal document that outlines the powers and limitations of the POE. The document must also be signed by the individual and a witness. In some cases, the document may also need to be notarized. Duties and limitations. As a power of attorney, the appointed person 
has a duty to act in the best interest of the individual who appointed them. They must also follow any specific instructions outlined in the POA document. However, there are limitations to the powers of a POA. For example, they cannot make decisions that are not outlined in the document or act in a way that goes against the wishes of the individual who appointed them. Overall, becoming a power of attorney is a serious responsibility that requires careful consideration and planning. By understanding the eligibility requirements, legal procedures and documentation, as well as duties and limitations of a power of attorney, individuals can make informed decisions about appointing someone to make decisions on their behalf.